Naipanalo naman ang dalawang Americans at isang Japanese scientist ang kanilang immune system research sa 2025 Nobel Prize. Alamin po natin ang detalye mula sa report ni Chantel Santos. The Nobel Assembly at Karolinsky Institute has today decided to award the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly to Mary Branko, Fred Ramsdell, and Shimon Sakaguchi for their discoveries concerning peripheral immune tolerance. Nagwagi si na American scientists Mary Branko at Fred Ramsdale at si Shimon Sakaguchi ng Japan ng 2025 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Ito ay para sa kanilang pag-aaral tungkol sa kung paano nagtatabi ng healthy cells ang immune system na gumagawa ng daanan para sa bagong autoimmune disease at cancer treatments. Ayon sa awarding body na Karolinska Institute ng Sweden, dala ng tatlong laureates ang tinatawag na regulatory T-cells, isang klase ng white blood cells na nagsisilbing security guards ng immune system. Pinipigilan itong atakihin ng immune cells ang ating sariling mga katawan. Obviously, I mean, T cells are a really critical um, part of the um, of the immune system that recognizes foreign, you know, infections and foreign bodies and stuff that in, that infect the infect the body. And in a, under normal circumstances, you know, you mount a robust immune response to something and then it needs to quiet down. The immune system needs to go back to normal. And, and it's these regulatory T cells that we, we didn't discover the T cells, but we discovered, you know, an, an important feature of those cells. They're really critical for putting the brakes on an immune response. And um, yeah, so that's kind of the, the basis of the discovery. And like I say, it, it opened a whole new area in immunology um, that is important both for just the basic understanding of the biology, but also, you know, it helps people think about ways to treat um, immune disorders. Nalaman ni Mary Bronco na nanalo siya ng magising sa pagtahol ng kanyang aso dahil sa isang news photographer na nasa harap ng kanyang bahay sa Seattle. Uh, well, the phone started buzzing at about 1 a.m. this morning and I, when I, you know, I was sound asleep. I looked at the phone and it said Sweden. It was some weird number and I just, I silenced my phone because, I mean... Spam, right? You get weird phone calls all the time. So, um, and my husband also did the same thing. He had the call coming on, on his phone. So, and then a couple hours later, like the dog barked once and there was kind of some noise and my husband got up and there's a this young woman at the front door from AP, the photographer from AP showed up at the front door and, and She knew she was not supposed to be the one to make the announcement, but it was the only way she could get in the house was to say something to my husband like, your wife has won the Nobel Prize. Sinabi ni Bronco na isang karangalan na magawara ng pagkilalang ito. I, well, I told my husband not to be ridiculous when he, told, he tried to tell me why this woman was on our front porch. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But you know what? It's... Uh, I'm I am honored and so proud to have been part of the work that you know led to this prize, and um, but I'm also like I have all these images of all the people that I worked with, you know, who's who supported the work um, that we were doing, and like I mean, it's such a it's team science at its best. It Hindi matawagan si Ramsdell para magbigay ng reaksyon sa pagkapanalo rin. Ayon kay Bronco, malamang ay nag-hiking ito sa isang lugar na walang cell phone reception. And so, I, I have spoken to um, two different gentlemen from the Nobel Committee in Sweden, um, as well as Swedish Public Radio, um, and I, I guess it's real. I guess it's real, and my colleague, Fred Ramsdale, you know, we, we worked together on this work. As To my knowledge, they still haven't found him. He's like backpacking in the wilds of Idaho. And, you know, everyone keeps asking me, how do we reach Fred? And I don't, I don't know. He's, like, he's unavailable. So it will be a shock for him as well. 
ang paggawad ng Nobel Prizes ay itinatag ni Alfred Nobel, isang Swedish inventor ng dinamita at ng isang mayamang negosyante. Mula noong 1901, nagbibigay sila ng gawad para sa mga kontribusyon sa agham, literatura at kapayapaan. Chantel Santos para sa Matanang Agal International, Trusted, Connected, On Point.